Hey everybody, it's Ryan Dorn, Internet Consultant. Uh, we're on part number three of loading and manipulating ads into the DFP system. Um, somebody asked me yesterday, what does DFP stands for? And it stand for? And it stands for DoubleClick for Publishers. Google had bought DoubleClick uh, many moons ago, and uh, all those double clickers became Google ears. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to manipulate an ad or change an ad or edit an ad or update a campaign when you've already loaded it into the system. So notice something here. Over under orders, you've got the ability to see my orders, um, only ads that are delivering, ads and campaigns that are starting soon, ones that are ending soon, any that you've starred, and which ones have been most recently uh, looked at. You can also then go line by line in the line items, okay? All right, so an order is here. So for example, let's go to the Ryan Dorn test campaign. Let's say we want to change the ad that's running or fix the URL. So let's click on it. All right. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go into the ad. So you go ahead right here, okay? You can click on it. Now if you wanted to pause this ad, you could click here in the little checkbox and then click pause, okay? I'm going to click on the ad itself. All right, now it's going to show me the creative that I have loaded here. If I want to deactivate that ad, I just click on it, choose deactivate, or I can go into more actions. I can copy the creative, delete the creative, etc. What I want to do is I potentially want to change the creative. So I'm going to click on it. And here it is under settings. And I'm going to be able to go and change the name here. I can go and click edit to change the, uh, the, the creative itself, the ad. I can go here to change the .com name. And then I simply just click save. That's all you have to do. And then go back to preview if you want to see it. And then if you want to get back to the red banner, then you just go here, Ryan red banner in the upper left. If you can't get to it that way, you just click on orders. It's going to take you right back. You can go to the campaign here, and then you can click on it again if you want to see. But you're going to, it's going to give you a nice snapshot. Now, if you click on orders, what you're going to see is you're going to see all the current advertisers you have in the system, and you're going to see the start and end times. You're going to see the total impressions that have been served so far and the clicks. So that's excellent. It really gives you a great uh, snapshot. This is sort of your dashboard. And we'll get into reports here uh, in just a second. Now, we wanted to, let's just say that we'd like to remove, we want to go ahead and get rid of uh, this particular campaign. So here's one at the bottom I put in. So we can go under more actions and we can either send it to the archive if we think it's going to come, you know, back up again. Okay. We can also then click pause, okay, which is going to uh, allow me to just pause the ad. And you notice that a little red, um, well, it went away, but there's a little red arrow that came up. I can't pause an ad because it's already been paused. <laughs> So if I wanted to resume that ad, then I would actually go in here and just click resume. If I wanted to pause this ad, for example, then I would simply go and I'd click pause. Now it is important though, when your stuff is done, you either need to send it to an archive, which is here, send it to the archive, or you need to go ahead and actually physically remove um, the uh, campaign from the system. Once you move something to the archive, that's when you can actually go through the archive and delete it. But a lot of times you'll have advertisers that will come back and so you don't want to you know, physically uh, delete them. So that's about it in terms of manipulating an ad that's been running. Let's talk real quickly about if you want to go into this campaign, if you want to add another banner to rotate through. Let's just say you have a banner that is red and one that's blue. Okay, you can actually go here to the actual uh, banner itself and you can actually upload another creative. You'll see right here at the top it says add creatives right here and you can just do new creative and then you're going to choose what type of it is. Most of the time it's going to be an image. And then you'll go through the same process. Browse for it, put in the click-through URL, save it, and that's going to allow you to add another creative. Some people like to have more than one uh, banner ad rotating for a, you know, for a campaign. Okay? All right, in our next video, we're actually going to go to um, a, a website. We're going to actually talk about how the ads are actually served, and uh, that will give you a better understanding of how the ads work on the website. So uh, this is part three. And we're moving on to part four, how DFP actually interacts uh, with your website. We'll see you there.